Sorry for the, the delay, but here's the third of Zali's tutorials. First, the Steam menu has changed since my last tutorial, so I just want to clarify how to get to Source SDK from here. This is from the store page. First thing you want to do is go to Library, then you'll probably be in Games, you want to hit Tools under it. There'll be Source SDK in here, don't worry, you don't have to reinstall it if it was already installed. It's pretty simple. Alright, next thing you want to do is double click it, of course, and I'm going to launch Source SDK. Now, the menu for the Source SDK has changed a bit. The engine versions are Source Engine 2006, Source Engine 2007, and Source Engine 2009. You'll want to use Source Engine 2009 for most things, as most things have been in here, even Counter Strike Source and nearly everything. Now, if let's say you don't have the, the game you want to map for and it should be in Source Engine 2009 like Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, Portal, Day of Defeat or anything like that you'll want to reset game configurations just double click that and hit reset now they've been reset to the default values and as you can see I have Counter Strike Source I originally didn't have that since I didn't do that yet alright next thing you want to do is I'm going to be opening Hammer Editor this tutorial will be focusing on clipping, which is a very useful tool and allows you to have a broad range of things you can do with your brushwork. Now, create a new tab, or new file, by file new, and I'm going to be creating a brush using the block tool. About 512 by 512 and 512, so 512, 512 length, width, and height, making it a perfect cube. Go ahead and hit enter and to get into the clipping tool because we'll be clipping this brush you want to click on this icon right here the clipping tool go ahead and select this and to clip something you want you can't do it in the 3d view you have to do it in one of the grid views alright so I'm gonna take use this one and click on the top left and drag to the bottom right as you can see, it creates a line through the brushwork. Even if I do that, it will. Allowing you to delete things. Or separate them. We don't want to delete this thing. And the red part is what will be deleted. So if you take a view in this in the 3D view, you can see that this yellow thing represents what will be del deleted. We don't want this. So go ahead and click on this again. And it will change where the red thing is. And along with the 3D view click this until it's all white go ahead and hit enter now we have two separate brushes to show the uses of this go ahead and click this and drag it whoops drag it away as you can see you can create ramps this way or like sloped ceilings things like that it's very useful but possibly another useful thing is doorways so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Create a new file and I'm going to make a room. My floor is going to be 512 and generally for floors and ceilings I usually have the width at 16. I don't know if that's correct but that's what I use and it works. Um, the usual width of walls are 8 units and the general width, the general height of them are 128. That'll make it look normal and not too big or not too small. So I'm going to go ahead and create this real quick. I'm not going to texture these yet as it's only a tutorial, but if you're OCD and you just want to practice, go ahead. It's good practice, anyways. Alright. So I'm going to select a wall and go into the grid view. I'm going to scroll in a bit to make it easier and select the clipping tool. If it makes it easier, you can use Shift X. Now, around here, a bit left of the center, I'm going to make a vertical clip. I'm going to want to make sure that nothing is red. All right, now I go ahead and hit Enter. Remember, you don't have to drag it along the whole brush, just part of it. Now, the next thing that we want to do is make the vertical thing 48 
units. We're going to make another vertical clip 48 units away. So you can use the block tool for measurements and shift X and clip. Using hotkeys is a very valuable resource as it allows you to if you're, if you're making a measurement you can simply switch to it and clip it. Now select the center one sorry and select the center one and we're gonna go wanna go 20 units down from the ceiling. I'm gonna have to lower my grid view to make it more detailed and create a horizontal clip or like a landscape and hit enter. Now as you can see we have all these pieces select this one should be the one that's in between the two big ones and under the little one and delete it. As you can see it's a doorway and and this is the right size for a door to fit in and I'll explain that later in the next tutorial and since I'm using this in the next tutorial go ahead and save this as Zally Clipping. I already this is my fifth take of the tutorial so I have a lot of them and go ahead and save it and yes it's if you caught that it seeps into the void that's a very good thing as it'll show that you're good at this and mapping will be com might come natural to you and if it doesn't don't worry you'll get the hang of it soon um also make sure that there's no spaces in your map name as that can cause problems um so just ignore the void for now we'll go on to it later now save it oh wait we already saved it sorry um so make sure it's saved and that should conclude this tutorial thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for more tutorials this is Zelly and I'm signing off